Hi, welcome to our fifth topic, Synthesis of Dibenzol Propanone. In this topic, you will learn about how to synthesize dibenzol propanone using the Greener technique. Coming to the conventional synthesis of dibenzol propanone. The purpose of this experiment is to synthesize dibenzol acetone through the aldol condensation of acetone with benzaldehyde. The synthesis begins by using a very strong base to generate acetone enolate ion. Water is formed as a byproduct. Before going to the synthesis, let us see what are the applications of dibenzol acetones. These are very important as conjugated systems. They are used as organometallic catalyst in inorganic chemistry in combination with metal ions. They also act as dienophiles in cyclic addition reactions. Their chemical reactions always attract the chemical community as a subject of interest due to their cross-conjugated nature. Dibenzyl acetone is the component of a catalyst, trisdibenzylene acetone, dipalladium. It is labile ligand that is easily displaced by triphenylphosphine, hence it serves as very important into palladium chemistry. It is mainly used in many of the sunscreen preparations to protect from UV light. Here you can see the reaction of base catalyzed aldol condensation. It is a reaction between an aldehyde and a ketone in the presence of a base. The chemicals required to synthesize dibenzol propanone are acetone, benzaldehyde, and sodium hydroxide 10% solution. Now let us see what is the greener technique to synthesize dibenzol acetone. Take benzaldehyde and acetone in 1 is to 2 ratio, mix them with methylated spirit, shake for 2 minutes. To it, add 10% sodium hydroxide solution and shake vigorously for 10 minutes with simultaneous pressure release. The reaction mixture was cooled in ice and the pale yellow solid will be obtained. You can filter the dry it, collect, weigh and recrystallize with ethanol. You can also calculate the percentage yield. The green context in this procedure is we are not using any hazardous organic chemicals and all the reagents that we are using for these experiments are non-toxic. Here you can see the complete mechanism of formation of dibenzol propanone from aldehyde and ketone. It is an aldol condensation reaction. Being a strong nucleophile, this enolate attacks the carbonyl of benzaldehyde and forms a beta carbonyl alkoxide ion. This alkoxide ion abstracts a portion from water to form a beta hydroxy ketone. Sodium hydroxide abstracts another acidic alpha hydrogen to form a stabilized carbon ion. The electron pair on the carbon is used to eliminate the hydroxide ion forming a alpha beta unsaturated ketone in an irreversible step. This is an example for even CB reaction. Also note that in this reaction the intermediate alcohol is dehydrated under basic conditions. Unlike most alcohol dehydrations which are generally even mechanism under acidic conditions. The even CB mechanism is made possible by the presence of carbonyls which stabilizes the intermediate carbanion. The newly formed ketone still possesses alpha hydrogens. It too can undergo the same enolate condensation reaction with a second mole of benzaldehyde to form the final product that is nothing but dibenzol propanone. Now let us see another alternative green procedure for the synthesis of diphenyl penta 14 diene 3 ohm. 
The chemicals required for this are acetone, benzaldehyde, lithium hydroxide. Coming to the procedure, in a round bottom flask, we are supposed to take aldehyde and a ketone along with ethyl alcohol. In that round bottom flask, supposed to add lithium hydroxide monohydrate. The reaction mixture was magnetically stirred vigorously for 8 to 10 minutes. The pale yellow solid will be precipitated out and add 5 grams of crushed ice and stir it well. Let the precipitate settle down then you can collect the yellow solid by filtration. Dry it, recrystallize it and calculate the percentage yield. See that the aldehyde which you are utilizing to synthesize should be free from acid. The green context of this experiment is that hazardous organic solvents are avoided. Lithium hydroxide is easy to handle as it is comparatively less hygroscopic than other alkali metal hydroxide and use of catalytic amount of base. So here we end our topic the synthesis of dibenzyl propanone using the greener technique. Thank you.